Hi guys, so today I am sitting down in my bathroom again because this is just the best place for lighting right now and I mean I'm going to get an incredibly numb bum. <laughs> I probably should have put a little pillow down um, but I just thought it would be the best place to sit and film this video because I don't know, I just, I really like sitting in here. Sorry it's taken me so long to do this video. And I, I literally was like, if I don't film this now, then I'm never gonna get around to doing it. And I also wanna do a third trimester video before I actually have this baby. So for now, here is my second trimester video. I asked on Instagram, um, if you had any questions regarding the second trimester. So I have picked out, quite a lot of them were repeated, so I've picked out a lot of the questions you asked and I'm gonna answer them for you in this video. As I'm filming this, I am currently 37 weeks. So going back to the second trimester feels like such a long time ago, but at the same time, I feel like I've just blinked and it's just gone so quickly. So a lot of this, I've had to go back through like my notes on my phone just to kind of remind myself what the second trimester was actually like because I've obviously been in the third trimester for quite a while now. Thankfully, I made notes and I once I kind of started remembering, I was like, ah, oh, yeah. For any of you that don't know or just need a little reminder, the second trimester I think is like, the end of week 12, like week 13 to week 27, 28. First question is, what were your main symptoms in the second trimester? So if you have not watched my first trimester video and you've stumbled upon this one, I would say go back and watch that first just so you've got like an idea of what might have changed from first to second. But, um, Main symptoms in the second trimester, I actually was not one of those lucky people that woke up in week 13 like, oh my god, yay, I don't feel sick anymore. <laughs> um, and actually that was like a really frustrating thing because you just hear so many people saying like, oh my god, the second I was in my second trimester, I didn't feel sick anymore, I felt amazing, like I literally woke up the next day and I was like, oh my god, I feel like a whole new woman. And I was really waiting for that to happen. And I think because I had been kind of counting down to the second trimester because I absolutely hated how sick I felt. My countdown was very much like, just get to the second trimester, just get to the second trimester. And then when I got to the second trimester, I was like, why do I feel the same? <laughs> so that was a huge expectation versus reality moment because I did not feel instantly any better. I would say that my nausea started going away probably around week 15 and 16. Um, and by that, I just mean like <laughs> a large portion of the day I didn't feel sick and then I would only feel sick at like 4 p.m. for around an hour and a half. And then that hour and a half got slowly um, just smaller and smaller like the window of me feeling nauseous just got smaller and smaller it was always still around 4 or 5 p.m um even if i was busy doing something i would think like oh my god i just have like a wave of nausea look down at my phone and it's like half four and i'm like it's like clockwork so much like my first trimester i just always made sure around four or five I would have a little lie down, sip my Sprite, have a chewing gum, just chill, get some fresh air. Um, and then I would say by week 17, that was pretty much gone. Um, and it was delightful. I was able to go out and meet friends, go and eat out. Um, I just, I think feeling good or not feeling sick, meant that I kind of got a little bit more of my freedom back that I'd, if I'm honest, I'd totally forgotten what that felt like because I just felt sick for so long. <laughs> One thing I did have, which I was not expecting, was 
a drop in my blood pressure around weeks 19, 20 for I would say about a month. So about four weeks, I was experiencing like quite sudden drops in my blood pressure, which was a very new feeling for me. I'm not a fainty person. I've never fainted. I feel like I need to touch wood. <laughs> there is no wood around me. Oh wait, <laughs> there we go. And so to be experiencing those like dizzy spells was quite scary. Um, especially like if I was on my own or, and they would usually only really happen if I got up very quickly or if I was doing too much. So I had one morning where I was like tidying the house, hoovering, dusting, plumping up all the cushions. Like I was on like a massive nesting cleaning spree and I was just lying there and my, I just, I couldn't function i was reading something on my laptop and i was like these words don't make any sense to me it was like my brain wasn't working and i was like whoa that's weird and then all of a sudden i was like i'm going to faint and it was just a feeling i've never encountered before um i, I didn't faint i managed to like lie down lift my legs up and like do some <laughs> calm deep breathing and also i was sipping on water and trying to like shovel some raspberries down me um but that kind of freaked me out because i was like why did that happen it turns out it was a dip in my blood pressure which when i spoke to my mum, she was like oh i had that in my pregnancies with you and your brother and i was like okay um but that did not last and i think that was one thing that did knock my confidence slightly because sometimes it would make sense and I would be like, oh, I just got up too quick or I was doing too much. And then sometimes it made no sense at all. Um, and for the times it made no sense, it really worried me. Like I, I used to think like, what if I'm walking through town and it happens and I just faint in the middle of like town or you know like it, it made me a little nervous and apprehensive to kind of carry on as normal so i was always very careful and considered and i was made sure i was with someone i could not have baths <laughs> not that you can have hot baths when you're pregnant anyway but i was advised not to have any because any change in like sudden temperature was not good either so that was about kind of four or five weeks of kind of dips of that um but i just made sure i was checking my blood pressure regularly um and making sure i took it easy and rested and also once i had realized what it was it was something that can be quite common in the second trimester which i did not know about my dysgeusia went away by about week 19 20. um dysgeusia is uh, when you get that either metallic or sour taste in your mouth and I had a sour taste and it was one of the things that uh, was one of my very first pregnancy symptoms it came very very early and it was also one of the last things to kind of go from my first trimester symptoms and the day that went, or I guess it was pretty gradual, it wasn't just a day, but when I realised I could eat tomatoes and it not leave this disgusting taste in my mouth, I was like, oh my god. I had forgotten how good it was to kind of have like my, my taste and my mouth back. Um, so that was amazing. My sensitive teeth also went away at about the same time where it was like painful to brush my teeth sometimes and my gums were really sore um that all went away which was lovely one thing that happened in my second trimester that never happened in my first trimester was something that i called lead legs <laughs> basically the only way i can describe it is like my legs felt like they were made of lead and they were like really heavy and um i was told that that's like really normal and it's just where the pressure of like your uterus and the baby and everything else all the fluid is just weighing on your like nerves 
and that can affect like how your legs feel so sometimes I would feel like I was lifting my legs and walking but my legs were so heavy <laughs> um, so I got a little like support band which I did use every now and then but I don't feel like it really made much of a difference and it wasn't something that I constantly felt it was just every now and then I would say my main new symptom in the second trimester was rib pain um I don't want to say pain actually it wasn't pain it was more discomfort and it was this feeling at first and anytime I explained this to anybody, they were like, what? So I'm hoping that like someone watching this knows the exact feeling I mean. <laughs> but it was like they were fizzy. That's the only way I can describe it. Like putting like sherbet on your tongue or like, like a fizzy sensation. That's what my lower ribs felt like. And then it got very uncomfortable and it was discomfort. But at first it just felt like this very strange not pins and needles in my ribs but like just like they were fizzy i don't know how else to explain it but i think where my body is quite short which i wouldn't have said before becoming pregnant but i do feel like either she's very high or my body is quite short i'm literally boobs and then bump like my uterus is right up here and I think where my um, uterus was growing and expanding and pushing up, and obviously she started up taking up more space, I could really feel that in my ribs, and I still can. <laughs> so she is still right there. And it wasn't even necessary that she was kicking my ribs because this started before she was even big enough to kick my ribs. It was where my body was like, moving and growing and like my organs were being pushed around it was just like my ribs were just so sore um so kind of bruised painful if I touched them it was like really sore um and very quickly when that was happening um I had that thing where I was so hungry but I just did not have any space I just felt like I had no space to eat and sometimes that made me feel quite claustrophobic so I would be out for dinner and I would just be eating and then all of a sudden I would just be like I feel so uncomfortable and everything is just here and I would have to like stand up <laughs> to feel like I had a bit more space um so that was definitely something that obviously didn't experience through the first trimester another thing that happened through the second trimester was that I definitely felt where my bump was growing at a much quicker rate than during the first trimester obviously where you don't really have much growth um my skin was itchy and stretched and I was moisturizing like twice a day just to get any kind of like comfort from that um and that was only really I would say around the like 17 18 19 week mark and then after that it like calmed right down i think it was just that initial like growth spurt and like my skin being pushed to a capacity it's never been at before it was like whoa um but i used all the shower oils i used body oil body lotion i was basically just always moisturized <laughs> then i think slightly more towards the end of the second trimester i had heartburn joyful lovely heartburn um so gaviscon has been a lifesaver i only really get it at night or if i lie down or if i lie on my left side my right side sorry left side is fine right side no um and that just like is just it just the feeling of that just like rising up in your throat is just <sighs> something else. Okay, so next question. Some, some things that you've loved the most about the second trimester. I think the main thing that I loved the most about the second trimester was feeling her move and kick. And I was always convinced I'm gonna be one of those people that doesn't feel it for ages. I think, I don't know, I just told myself I wouldn't. And every little like feeling, I was like, is that it? Is it not it? 
and without being like TMI, I'm quite like a gassy person anyway, so there's always like something going on down there and especially during pregnancy, like your body is just doing like the craziest things. So every little like bubble or like movement, you just think like, that's just, I'm just brewing a fart. Like that's a fart, that's just gas. I was, where was I when I felt it properly? And I was like, that is definitely a kick. I think I had disregarded the flutters Obviously this is my first pregnancy, so I don't know what the flutters feel like. And I think a lot of the flutters I put into gas category <laughs> through like week 17, when actually they were probably flutters. Because then in week 18, I felt like a kick, like a, like a little elastic band. And I was like, hang on a minute, that's, that's not gas. That's far, A, far too low down and also that wasn't the same feeling and it was after i ate a cake pop <laughs> so from then on like i would whenever i would lie down and eat a cake pop i could feel the little like flicking then i would look down and i could see it like my my skin would like jolt and then i think honestly like the next day I put Alfie's hand on there and he felt it. So it was all very quick, which does make me think that I'd like missed, I'd missed that first bit. I think I only really felt confident that it was kicking, like when it was proper kicking. Um, so yeah, by weeks 18, 19, she was kicking around in there pretty much every day. Um, always at night and in the morning and then through the day if I had something like sugary or if I lay down or like sat down to relax. Another thing that we got to do in the second trimester was to go and do a 4D scan which was also amazing getting to see her little face. I know a lot of people don't like to do them um, because they can look kind of <laughs> not creepy but you just don't know what you're gonna see on the screen um, and you know there's like cords and placentas and like the lining of your womb and hands up at faces and it's sometimes it's quite difficult to kind of make out what's there but I'm really glad that we did because I loved being able to see her little face or at least what her face will probably look like I mean she had a lot of growing to do still but it was just a really nice experience and I loved it. I definitely felt more relaxed in the second trimester. I think the first trimester is such like a, you just, you just go day by day and you just want each day to like hurry up and you're counting down to like the next trimester. And you know, there's a lot of kind of worrying things in the first trimester. You know, you want the pregnancy to go well. You don't want there to be any complications. You're reading other people's stories or you're, you're in forums reading things that are happening to other people. And you're just thinking like, is this too good to be true? Like what if something happens? It's still so early. And I think a lot of that worry subsided for me in the second trimester which was quite nice because I kind of felt like I relaxed a little bit more into the pregnancy which was nice because it just meant that I was kind of enjoying it more. I also feel like I had less boob sensitivity in the second trimester. In the first trimester where like your boobs are like even to touch them you're like ow there was much less of that in the second trimester and I feel like my boobs were just kind of normal like there was nothing really going on with them at all in the second trimester they were they were bigger but they still just looked like my boobs but slightly bigger and that was about it another thing that happened to me in the second trimester which I quite enjoyed was that my body hair just didn't grow <laughs> in the first trimester I was so hairy I would shave my legs and the next day they would be fully back like I would be like there is no point shaving my legs because my hair is growing at the most ridiculous rate ever and then during the second trimester I could go like two weeks with nothing under my armpits or on my legs and I was like this is so strange it's still a little bit like that like oh, when did I last shave my legs maybe like 
six days ago and there's like hardly anything there um so it is a little bit still like that but in the second trimester i was just like this is so strange like none of my body hair is growing and another thing that i think was really like positive for me about the second trimester was that because i wasn't feeling sick every day and i just felt more relaxed and much less anxious i felt so much more like me and i think it's difficult because you almost get to a point where you're like i've kind of forgotten what i was like before because it's been like 15 weeks of feeling so ill um like who was i before this and in the second trimester i definitely felt my personality come back um, i wanted to do more i wanted to see more people and i think also it kind of coincided with um the easing of the lockdown restrictions as well which also meant that like i could see other people but you know i just felt more like happy and relaxed and more myself i suppose did the second trimester go quickly compared to the first oh my gosh that is a complete understatement the first trimester it was like the longest amount of time I've ever experienced. <laughs> it just went so slowly. And the second trimester was the complete opposite. It was like every day I woke up, blinked, and then found myself in bed at night and the day was over and it was like the next day. And both Alfie and I just kept saying this. We were like, where is the time going? Why is it going so quickly? Like almost to the point where it was like actually kind of freaking me out because I've never known time to move so fast in my life. And especially when you feel like you're like in nesting mode and you feel like you have all these things that you want to get done before the baby arrives. It's like the worst combination because a day goes by and you're like, I didn't tick off my 20 things on my to-do list today. Now I'm behind, now I haven't done enough. And um, it was just, it just went so quickly. I feel like this whole pregnancy has gone really quickly if I'm honest. Um, even though I have been pregnant th this entire year so far, which feels so strange to say, like I've not done any of 2021 not pregnant yet. <laughs> um, it's just gone so, so quickly past that first trimester. How do you feel about your body changing? So I do feel like most of my body changes have happened more recently. I think definitely when I started getting a more noticeable bump, that was in the second trimester, I'd say about like halfway through. And honestly, I I didn't really think about it that much beforehand because I've just always been so excited to be pregnant and to have a bump and to experience this, that what it was gonna do to my body didn't, I didn't really think about it. I thought about the physicalities and things like what if I feel sick what if I have no energy I, th I thought about things like that but I never ever thought about like how my body would change or you know what if I don't like what I look like or what if having a bump is really weird to me or I just didn't really think about those things and honestly I I love what my body is doing right now I just I think it's incredible that I have grown a human being. I know that a lot of people really, really struggle with body image during pregnancy, but I, I just haven't been one of those people. Um, I love what my body looks like. I see my bump and I just get so excited that there's a bump there. Um, and I just love it. My boobs have definitely changed slightly. Um, in the third trimester but i still i don't they look different than they did before but it's not that i don't like them it's just that they look slightly different um but ask me again once i've had the baby i could i could feel totally the opposite i could be like whose body is this what's happened whose boobs are they like i have no idea but all i can tell you is that during this pregnancy i have loved my body 
which I'm really happy that I can sit here and say. Did you start nesting in the second trimester? Yes. <laughs> Alfie and I made a list of things that we were like, we wanna get these done before we have a baby. Otherwise we fear we may never do them. <laughs> One of which was like clear out our entire downstairs basement, clear out an outside basement, sort out the upstairs, do her room. Like there was just like this huge like house list. Most of which were things that, are you just gonna sit and have a little scratch in the background? A lot of the things on our list were things that we had been meaning to do anyway, but we just thought, right, now's the time to do them or we just will never do them when we have a baby. So yes, we started nesting. I would say both of us actually, it wasn't just me. Um, Alfie was equally nesting. <laughs> and I know that it's not important to have the baby's room done before the baby arrives and that she probably won't be in it much until she's like a little bit older. But just mentally knowing that that's done and ready and there for her rather than trying to get that done with her being like young just felt good. It felt good to get it done and that is going to be a nursery video, don't worry. Did you get any new cravings in the second trimester? Not really. I, I definitely haven't had any weird cravings. I think the only thing, much like the first trimester, that I have consumed so much of is strawberries and that's continued through my whole pregnancy and it's the only thing I can imagine myself wanting to eat during labour as well. <laughs> Um, just strawberries and actually Kit Kat Chunkies I really wanted in my second trimester but I don't know it's not really a weird craving because I liked those things before I just think I've eaten more of them being pregnant and uh, cake pops I ate a lot of cake pops in my second trimester did baby react to certain things you ate or drank I suppose that kind of follows on from what I just said but she definitely reacted to the cake pops that I was eating um, it was like that one time where I knew if I ate a cake pop, I could sit there. Me and Alfie would sit and just hold my tummy until we felt her moving. Um, but now, now I think it's just anything. She, she moves a lot. Like, she is a mover. So she just reacts to everything <laughs> there is there's no like certain food now that she reacts to but originally it was a cake pop which i think is probably because it has so much sugar in it how has your sleep been through the second trimester <sighs> much better than it is now <laughs> um i definitely found that i needed my pregnancy pillow and actually i bought myself the bb hug me pillow which I know that so many people love but I haven't really used that much I found that that was slightly too big um and I didn't I couldn't find a way to like get comfortable with it I've been using like a U shaped pillow um that I think you can get on Amazon so oh, if I can find it I'll leave a link but that's the pillow that I've been sleeping with every single night I love it it's been an absolute lifesaver and until the heartburn got really bad <laughs> I was sleeping really well and now it's just heartburn or needing a pee or she's kicking me so I don't really sleep now but in the second trimester lovely <laughs> how did you feel emotionally during the second trimester um as I said I definitely felt more me and I think that that was so nice I had much less weepy frustrated moments and I generally just felt uh, much better in myself anxiety wise and I relaxed a bit more. The only thing that I would say I think I felt quite a lot in the second trimester because the time was going so quickly I felt quite overwhelmed that there were things I wasn't doing quick enough so like I would have people in my DMs being like, oh, have you done this course? Or have you thought about looking into this? Or have you thought about doing a birth like this? Or have you thought about looking, researching um, this? Or have you read this book? Or I really recommend you read this. And I, and I got quite like overwhelmed by the amount of knowledge I felt like I needed to have 
but the time was going so quickly that I was like, I'm never gonna be able to do all these courses and read all these books and listen to all these podcasts and do all these things. And I think once I just kind of like let that go, I was much, much better. But there were definitely moments where I would get quite teary to Alfie and be like, I feel like I don't know enough. And I feel like I'm not doing all the things. It's very much just a, you don't need to read all the books. You don't need to know all the things um, and just relax. <laughs> so I think once I basically told myself it doesn't matter, <laughs> um, as long as you can read a bit, do a little bit here and there, or kind of like look into the things that you really want to look into, that's the most important thing. And so many people just said to me, do you know what, most of the time is instinct. Um, so yeah, once I'd kind of given into that, I felt much better. Those are all of my questions about the second trimester. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry this was a little bit late. Um, you will get the third trimester video very shortly after this one, I should imagine. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.